Active weather continuing to be something that we monitor here in the Weather Center. A new tornado warning just coming up north of Worthington in Nobles County as this uh, same system from earlier this afternoon moves on up eventually uh, south of Slayton. This is moving to the north around 25 to 30 miles per hour for radar indicated rotation. Again, this is north of Worthington and north of I-90 as we watch this line continue to march through southwestern Minnesota. Tornado watches in places for northwestern Iowa until 7 p.m. So a lot to unpack. Pack. We'll talk about that in a little bit. First to four starts now. Live from Killaland Media Group. Killaland News first at four. Tornadoes in Northwest Iowa. We have an update on the current situation. Plus, forever chemicals in Minnesota drinking water. What several cities want the legislature to do about it. And later, day two in the hush money criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. We'll have the latest from the courtroom. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. We're following some developing news in weather this afternoon. Uh, take a look at this video. Uh, as you can see, a tornado touched down near Morris, Iowa. Uh, Sioux County Emergency Management says the roofs on a couple of buildings were blown off. The dispatchers are still taking calls about damage in the area. Of course, we're looking for more details on that, but uh, we've got more weather to talk about. We do. I'll send it over to meteorologist Adam Rudd. Adam? Yeah, we are continuing to keep an eye on active weather uh, across uh, southwestern portions of Minnesota. Now, it was in northwestern Iowa. This is the uh, same storm that we've been watching for a better part of the last about hour and a half that produced not one but two touchdowns. The first you saw there in the uh, Morris area a little bit earlier, but then a second touchdown two miles east of Sioux Center from that same system. Now we have a new tornado warning in place. Uh, this is in uh, northeastern Nobles County, basically between Worthington and Fulda. This will stay in place until 4 p.m. 4.15 p.m. rather, uh, central daylight time. Uh, this is continuing to move on up to the north at about 25 miles per hour along and west of the Highway 59 corridor. So again, north of 25 miles per hour. This is just north of Worthington as this uh, continues to move on through. And this is for radar indicated rotation. We've been seeing this uh, for a little while. We'll zoom out a little bit more. You can see where the Sioux Falls radar is located. Anything in green that's headed toward the radar, anything in red that's going away. So we do have that area where we have radar indicated rotation just a little bit north of the uh, Redding area. Uh, this will again move to the north through mainly rural parts of northeastern Nobles County over the next about about 10 to 15 minutes. But again, a radar indicated rotation out of this also looking at a lot of heavy rainfall. So if something is able to develop, there is that potential for it to be rain wrapped as we uh, continue to go through the next about 15 to 30 minutes. But I want to zoom out a little bit. We have been talking about a lot of active weather and we'll go back in time so you can see just where all of this started. And this was down toward, again, the uh, Lamar's Morris area where we had the first touchdown that occurred a little bit earlier uh, in the afternoon. All of this underneath an area of low pressure that's just been kind of sitting in place and slowly meandering around the area. And you can see those tornado warnings from that same parent system, including the second touchdown east of Sioux Center, right there with that purple flashing box east of Rock Valley a little bit earlier this afternoon. And it's been pinwheeling up to the north through Sioux County into Lyon County into uh, portions of what are now Rock and then uh, Nobles County as well. And we'll watch this as we go through uh, the next about, again, 15 to 30 minutes. Also in the Spirit Lake area, tornado warning out that way in the uh, Dickinson, Iowa, Dis Dickinson County, Iowa area. That's also moving to the north and that will eventually move to the west of Jackson. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on this. Again, radar indicated rotation for that tornado warning north of Worthington along U.S. Highway 59, headed toward the Folda area that expires at 4 15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll have more to talk about in terms of what we've seen today and what we are going to see as we head through the next couple of days in your extended forecast. Okay, Adam, break in if you need to. All right, thanks a lot. A Minnesota family is mourning the loss of a one-year-old boy who fell from a window at a Sioux Falls hotel. In a social media post, the child's parents say their sweet baby boy Madden has gained his angel wings. They also call him a real-life hero because his organs will be used to help others. Madden Hine fell from a third-story window over the weekend. We checked with Sioux Falls Police this morning, and a spokesman told us that the investigation continues, but at this point, everything points to a tragic accident.